Hello everyone, this is Jay from Bro Gaming TCG, and today I am back with another Is It Good episode. So, as I said in the last video on Survivor, if you guys haven't watched that one, definitely go check that video out. It is a, an awesome video in my opinion. Anyways, I said that the Toxicroak from Sun and Moon 3 wasn't that good, but it has been updated, the translation has been updated, and it became a little bit better. So... It now is a, it's obviously a psychic type Toxicroak, which is a little different than what we have seen. Oh, the last Toxicroak that was played in standard was a uh, fighting type. It has 110 HP, uh, pretty standard for a non-GX stage 1. Uh, its first attack is Poison Jab, Psychic, and a Colorless. It does 30 damage and your opponent's Pokemon is now Poisoned. Now, its second attack is really when it uh, kind of becomes a little bit better. For a two psychic energy and a colorless energy, it's poison high for 80 plus damage. If this Pokemon is poisoned, this attack does 80 more damage, and the Pokemon is now no longer poisoned. So this kind of gets me thinking on the terms of Machamp EX. And as you guys, uh, if you guys are longtime subscribers, you guys know that I played a deck called Bodybuilders that I created, and it was a Machamp Tauros deck. And basically how Machamp EX works is that it does uh, 80 more damage, uh, standard 80. So basically this is Machamp's uh, attack, except with the poison, uh, except with Toxicroak a lot. Uh, so a stage 1 Pokemon. So now in my opinion, this Toxicroak is not as good as Machamp EX. Machamp EX 1 was a basic, and 2... Uh, you could use strong energy on it to power it up past 160 damage. With this Toxicroak, you can't really power it up any. You can't attach strong energy to it. Uh, it still pretty much is three psychic energy. I understand that it is one colorless, but that pretty much means three psychic energy. And on a stage one, you can't use max elixir on it, and there's nothing really to speed up the uh, approach of psychic energy other than Lunala GX. So it's going to be really hard to get the energy on there that is required for this attack. So I think that um, it could be a creative if you used Adenos with it and maybe it might see some standard play, uh, maybe some expanded play possibly, but honestly I'm not thinking that this card is great in any terms. Um, but it is an interesting card now since the translation has been corrected. Other than that, guys, I have nothing else to say on this card. Leave your opinions in the comment section below. I would love to hear them, and I do respond to every single one. Anyways, guys, this has been Jay from Bro Gaming, and don't forget to always keep on battling and pursue your dreams.